Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Keycomers project tutorial for beginner. So in the previous tutorial, we let the admin upload some product data in the database table. So in this tutorial, we are going to show the product data from the table. So for it, first of all, let's go back to our board and we will have a product option over here, a few product option. So let's go to our code editor and we'll go to our resource and use then the admin folder and in the admin folder here you can see sidebar.plate.php we'll go there and here you can see in the product drop down we have add products so after this there we're going to say queue product and let me just remove this last li that so right now if we save it then if we go to our browser then you put in our refresh here there you can see we have an option called view product here so let's go back to our code again and here in this a shape we're going to give to second bracket then we we'll send our urn to first bracket to single quotation and then we need to give it a name let's say the name will be view underscore product then let's save this and right now we'll go to our web.php and create a route for this so let's go to our routes then web.php let's go down and let me just copy this route Control c then we'll paste it here and here our url name is view underscore product so let me copy this we'll paste it here and we'll use the admin controller and in the admin controller the function name will be view underscore product and the route will be get method okay so let's go to our admin controller and get this function so we'll go to our app http controller and here you can see admin controller let's just directly go down then here we're going to set public function add product we'll give to first bracket then to second bracket so from here we'll just return a simple view we'll say return view to first bracket to single quotation and here the view will be in the admin folder we'll say admin dot view underscore product so right now we are going to create view underscore product in the admin folder so here you can see admin folder so i'll just right click then click new file and here i'm going to set view underscore product dot blade dot php control s then set so let's go and have a simple html tag here so in the body form now let's say all product so if we now save it but let me just explain here we have view product if someone click on this view product it will call this url view underscore product and our view underscore product will call the admin controller view underscore product function and this view underscore product function in the admin controller will return us to this view which is this one so right now if we just refresh our browser here then click on products and view product we are able to see all products so here let's go and have the design for the admin panel we have the header then the sidebar and the body part so for it let's go back then we will go to our index.blade.php in the admin folder let me just copy everything from here Control a Control c and after that we will go to our view product.blade.php we are going to remove everything and whatever we just copy it from the index.blade.php we are going to paste it over here and from here i am going to remove include admin.body so save then if we now refresh here there you can see we are able to see the design in our view underscore product url so here we are going to create a table in order to show the product data from the product table so for it let's go back to the board and here let's mention a div then in this div we're going to mention a table then in this table empty table has a row and in this row in the first row we're going to set table header so for table header we need to set th so let me just give some space here like this so in the first th we're going to set product title then we are going to give another th this will be description after description we will have category after category we will have the price we will say here price then after price we will say quantity and the last one will be the image 
So we say here image. So if we now set, then refresh here, uh, there you can see we have that table header over here. So right now let's go and add a random data. So for it, uh, for table data, we also need to mention the tier tag again. And in this tier tag, let's go and have the TD tag. TD means table data. For now, let's just say random data here, ABC. Then let me just copy this. And I'm going to paste it on two, three, four, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Save. Then refresh. And there you go. So right now, let's go and make it look like a table. And let's also have this in the center. So in order to have it in the center, first of all, here you can see we keep the table inside a div. So in this team, we're going to mention a class. Class will be div underscore design, dg. So let's go at the top in the head section. Then in the head section, I'm going to say a style. Then in this style, we're going to say dot div underscore dj. Then to second bracket. Here, we're going to say display. It will be next. Then justify content. It will be center. And item with align item. And align items. It will be center as well. Let's also say here margin. To, it will mean 16 px. If we now save it, our table will be in the center. Let me just show you. There you can see it is in the center. So right now let's go and make it look like a table. So in order to make it look like a table, there you can see we have the table tag. So for this table tag, we can just say here border or let me just make sure the class here. Let's say class will be table underscore dg. Let's go at the top here. I'm going to say dot table underscore bg. Then to second bracket, we're going to say border. It will be 2px solid. We can say green, yellow. If we now save it, then refresh. There you can see we have a border right now. So let's go and write the CSS for the table header. So here you can see th, th is for table header. So for this T stack, we're going to write the CSS. So here in the style, we're going to set TH, then to second bracket, we're going to set uh, background color, it will be sky blue. Then we'll also send here the text color, it will be white. Then font size for the table header will be 19px and font width, it will be port. If we now save, then refresh, uh, there you can see it. So we can add some padding as well. Let's say here, padding, it will be 16px. Refresh here, and there you go. So right now, let's go and make some design for that table data. So for table data, we need to mention that TD deck in the style. So here, we are going to say td, then we we'll give our cat to second bracket. Then here, we are going to mention the pardon, it will be on px, solid, sky blue. If we now save, then refresh. And there you can see, it. and we also make it in the center. So let's say here, text align, it will be center. And let me just copy this tier and paste it here. Save. Then if we now refresh here, okay, it will look like this. So those are just static data. And we will show the data from the database table. So in order to do that, what we need to do is really simple. We will go to our admin controller and from this return view, we are going to send some product data. So for it, let's find declare a variable. We send a dollar product equal to, you can declare any variable. And here we already mentioned the product model at the top. So we have access to the product table. So here we will mention the model with a product double clone all. So we'll get all the product data. And after it, we'll give a comma here. And then we'll say compact the first bracket to single quotation, it will be Pro that, which is this all. So right now we'll save it and we'll go to this view, view underscore product. 
and let me just remove this extra tier from here and from this td let me just remove the static data and right now here you can see tier this tier for table data and before this tier we are going to mention the for each loop so for it we need to say at the rate of for each uh, then we will say dollar sorry dollar product as dollar let's say this time products okay we will say here products and this for each loop we gained over here so we will say at the rate of int for each so here we write dollar product as dollar products there is a is and right now in order to get the product title here you can see in the database you can see the product the title name is title so let me just zoom out so here in order to get the title we give to second bracket then we we'll say here dollar product this arrow sign we we'll send here title so here uh we give dollar product as dollar product because there is a reason and you will understand it in the next tutorial so after the title here i'm going to copy and paste it here we're going to show the description so we we'll send our description after description we're going to say here after description we have the category so you need to say here category and those will come from the database table this name should be exactly match with the database table okay so after category uh, we have price quantity then image so here we are going to say price this one will be quantity quantity and this one will be for the image but we'll show the image a little later let me just save it and right now if we refresh there you can see we are able to see the product title, then product description, category, price, quantity, and the image field is empty. So, so everything is perfect over here. So let's go and show the image. So in order to show the image, what we need to do is in this TD, we need to mention the image tag. Since this is an image, we need to use image tag in order to show the image. And in the source, what we need to do first is that we store our image in the public uh, products folder here you can see in the products folder we have the image and we store the image in the ora folder so here we need to mention the products folder name then we need to give our here slash then we need to say dollar products and this will be image so if we now save then refresh here there you can see we are able to see the image and uh, for the first image the image pin is empty because here you can see for the first one image is null so right now let's go and fix the image size so in order to fix the image size let me just mention it uh height and width here let's say height will be 200 let's just mention the height if we now refresh here okay and let's also fix the width as well and width it will be 200 as well Set, then refresh, and there you go. I think it is still too big. Uh, let's make it on point D and on point D. Save again, refresh, and okay, this is perfect. So, this is all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are going to add a pagination of our cat. It means, let's say we have. 1000 product in our product table so are you going to show 1000 product obviously not we are going to show like 10 20 30 data in a base so for it we need to use pagination so pagination means page system like page on two three four like this and that is why in if since we are going to make pagination that is why we write our again dollar product as dollar products so this is all for this tutorial if you have any question or any problem just let me know in the comment section Make sure to subscribe, I really appreciate that and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.